Hello? Finally Friday. And if you think it's a good day, maybe, but well not for me. Just think, yeah, the most awkward moment. You know, it's about electronic and fixing. Which do you think is the most awkward one? Let me explain you, yeah? The most awkward moment, you fix a thing, yeah? The customer comes and actually your thing is not working. So let me explain you what happened. Let me show you. Maybe you'll understand. Maybe you'll remember if you check my movies, my videos, sorry. You remember this laptop? This HP laptop? Look at the ribbon cable. You remember it was like three, four videos ago it was a job with ribbon cable, hinge, with a shorted ribbon cable, yeah? And the customer come to pick up the computer, yeah? And actually the computer was starting, it was to start and uh, loading the windows and after like 20 seconds just the power just cut off, you know, just goes off. And logical speaking, you know what, the battery is too low, let me plug the charger and I plug one charger, I plug two chargers, three chargers and it's not working. You know, th that's, that's the most awkward moment, you know, how you can explain to the customer this. So it's something like, you know what, I fix your things and also will give you three months warranty, but your thing just died on the table. <laughs> That's sick, you know? And I was thinking, on that moment you start thinking, what do you do you fix and what can be the problem? And I was thinking, you know what, probably my repair from the ribbon cable just gone short, so the 90 voltage on short and... Uh, yeah, I done the thing wrong. Hard to believe, but you know that was is what we are thinking. And you know what? I opened the motherboard, yeah, and the 90 volts power release on short. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I said no. I said it's, it's impossible to do a job like that for like 20 seconds. And I took out the motherboard and the 90 volts short is still there. So even without the ribbon cable. So it's not my fault. It's just a coincidence, yeah? So let's start. I have no idea what the problem is. I know it's a short there, but I don't know where and I don't know why. But we will find together this, yeah? But, but this, is, this is completely awkward, you know? <laughs> It's a, just a coincidence, you know, it's impossible. If you, if you make short on the 90 volts power rail, you know, short and that's all, you know, the short will not stay there. It's impossible. Even if the MOSFET go on short, no. Ah, one second, one second. <coughs> Okay, so I suppose this will be another motherboard, motherboard job repair, repair job. But again, I have no fault. It's impossible to be my fault. This is just a coincidence. You know, <laughs> normally I don't believe in coincidence. But this one, <laughs> this is a big one. <laughs> it's, it, it's just awkward. Okay, so let's check. Let's go on under the microscope and follow the 19 volts power rail. How we will speak so many times. We'll spoke so many times about that. Ah, oh, sorry. <coughs> I'm still ill. Okay. 
So we have the charging connector. Normally one side is minus, one side is plus. Let's find the plus. Normally, but not always. You can check the, the colors on the charging connector, but I'm too lazy to plug the charging connector right now. So this is nothing. This is nothing. Okay. <laughs> let, me let me check the charging connector, yeah? Plus in one side and minus on the middle. Okay, so we see this is different. So actually on this one, <coughs> I have minus here and plus next. And from there, yeah, you actually can see, you know, so you can check, you know, from plus. Look, you have two resistors here. It goes on the first MOSFET. Yeah? You can see the first MOSFET here. If you check for short to ground, yeah? From this MOSFET to ground is not short, yeah? Actually, the power get cut here. Yeah? So the 19 volts. Ah, uh, yes? Yeah? Yeah, what phone? Okay, one second. Yeah, the I just left, and I'm alone here. Okay. So this is this is my first MOSFET. Okay. We can see the continuity on the screen. After that, we have to find the second MOSFET. But we can see the track is going here. This is like a path. From the output of this MOSFET, we can see here that resistor, the current resistor sensor. Sorry. And from here is going everywhere, just ignore that one, because probably this is a part of some power supply. Or maybe not. From here and here we have another current resistor. Wait, wait, you can't see. So this is the first MOSFET, the second one. From the second one we have the current resistor. And here we have another MOSFET with a resistor and a coil. No, no. These things end here. So my 19 volts from here, power L, goes on the other side of the board. But the things end here. And actually here we have no short. Yeah? But after the second MOSFET, here is short. It's completely short. You can see short to ground. Look, short. Again, short. Yeah, so that's my problem. If I come with the power supply, yeah? 19 volts. Probably around 2 amps. And uh, we can... Uh, let's put the power on the connector, yeah? Plus, minus. And check there. It's clicking. You can hear? Yeah, that's because of this uh, MOSFET. If I come with the power after the second MOSFET, short 2.8 amps. You can see there, 2.8 and the voltage is like 1.8. So this is short. 
also here is short obviously so you have here 2.8 amps and after the second MOSFET the power supply is limited by itself and it's not taking any power it's protecting by itself and it's not taking any power okay just clicking oh, it's completely short <coughs> okay so that's our problem No short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Okay. So we have a short after the second MOSFET. That's my first MOSFET, that's my second MOSFET, yeah? And from here to ground, they have a short. Let's try to go down with the voltage on this power supply and see if we can fool the power supply. Put some power here. Uh, for one second, it's taking like 2.7 amps now. Okay, one second. Let me try again. Uh, it's hard. This power supply is smart. Yeah? Yeah? Mm. Okay, one more time. No, I can't do nothing with this power supply. Okay, you know what I should do? And I'll do it now. I use a long wire. So I can... Uh, uh, minus... Hmm. Let's try this one. <clears throat> one second. Let's try now. It's not even working. Mm. Okay, let's do it right now. One second. <clears throat> okay, I'll make the wire longer so in this way we can fool the power supply. Okay, it's already working. <laughs> Let's cut down this. So now we can 
join these together and we can make the wire longer if we make the wire longer you'll have high resistance on the wire that's mean if normally you have 0 0.01 ohms probably now you'll have 0 0.02 and the power supply will think it's a load there but actually it's no load it's just a long wire and the power supply will supply power okay so now I have a longer wire that's the way how you full a power supply so let's try now yeah let's check the the arms it's in the corner now I can put 2.8 amps on a short you can see 2.8 that's great I should do this from long time ago okay so if we put two if here is taking 2.8 amps it's a short something will get hot so we must find exactly what is getting hot nothing here probably on the other side someone asked me before yeah look what about if we come with the voltage from the charging uh, connector yes you can so let's see this no this is ground yeah and this is plus and you see it's taking 2.6 amp 2.8 amps yeah but with the battery power rail is same with the charger one but you have only one mosfet from the battery so on the from the charger you have two mosfets on serial mode from the battery you have only one and i think this is my power rail I think that's the one but I'm not sure let me check <clears throat> let me double check so from here check with this one normally 0 0.6 yeah and my short is 0 0.7 <laughs> so how can I find the power rail here because everything is ground even 19 volts is ground so you can't make you can uh, you know distinguish the 19 volts power rail from actually ground because it's short yeah i think that's the one <clears throat> okay let me come with amps on the 19 volts power rail minus i have a long plus i think is this one 2.9 amps and let's check on this side what is getting hot let's go high 3 amps 4 amps 3.9 amps here it's warm 
a hundred percent here is warm. Yeah. I have no idea. It's just warm, it's not hot. That's the thing. Maybe it's on the other side. Let's see on this side. Minus plus four amps. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Every time is same story. Let's see together. On, off. On, off. On, off. What do you think about that capacitor? Sorry. On, off. Again. On, off. I have a bad impression about that capacitor. So you see that capacitor is on 19 volts power rail there. Let's check now for short. Minus plus. So it's not short anymore. Ha 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 ha. So you got the thing? Uh, let me show you. Maybe you don't believe me. One second. We can check with the multimeter. Continuity, we can see here and on our resistor is not short anymore. Yeah? Okay, so it's not short. And actually, yeah, where is that capacitor? What I done with the capacitor? Let's check the capacitor. Hmm? Oh, it's here. It's here. You can see the capacitor? Check here. It's short. You can see on the multimeter. <sighs> so what you can do to make a capacitor on short? Now you understand why uh, why it was a awkward moment. No, you don't have to replace the capacitor. Probably it will work fine without. But if you want it, you can replace it. Okay, one second. Let me plug this ribbon cable. Now if I get uh, electro electrocuted, I use this, this machine to revive myself.
<laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the thing asks, they, they see the oscilloscope, yeah, and they ask, you, what's that machine, you know, it looks like a, a hospital thing. Okay, let me plug the charger. <laughs> okay, the computer is plugged. Power button. I don't remember the yeah the first two pins, <laughs> and it's working yeah. So you see what what make me feel awkward this computer, actually the, the that capacitor who got short. You know, it's just a big coincidence. You know that capacitor capacitor can die at any time. But died exactly after I fixed the, <laughs> the laptop and when the customer arrived. <laughs> That's insane, you know. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. I'll put all back together. Don't worry. Already we made a video about this. <laughs> put it all back together, yeah? Uh, yeah, we have a few more interesting things. So see you later, yeah? Like and subscribe if you like the video. Bye.